Hi, this is Tracy, and today I'm going to show you how to do a watercolor wash. You just need a few supplies and you can create beautiful backgrounds. You're going to need to start with a piece of watercolor paper. You don't want to use regular paper because you're going to apply a lot of water to it. So first thing you need to do is prepare it, and I put it on a top of our stamping scrub here. I've also used an old breadboard, a real thin breadboard, anything you can do. You could even put it on, um, you know, something like this if you have it, a protective mat. Uh, first two I wanted to show you, this is one that I did earlier, and the colors that I used, and we're going to use them right now, are Bermuda Bay, Tempting Turquoise, and Pacific Point. So we've prepared our paper. You're going to need an aqua painter. It's a, it's a paint brush and there's, you can apply your water in here. We're going to use reinkers. We have these for all of our Stampin' Up! colors. And then you want to be able to put your reinkers in something. I'm going to add some more uh, Bermuda Bay. And what I have found is that I like to have enough water in here so that my paint um, spreads a little easier. And I may have a little bit too much in there, but we'll see. And I'll add a little more here. Alright, the first thing you want to do is to squeeze your aqua painter and get water on top of your watercolor paper and just spread it all around. This is what's going to make your paint move around and create beautiful patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my Bermuda Bay and just do that. Oh, isn't that so neat? It's like magic. Alright, the next color. You can go here and clean. Normally you would clean this in between and keep doing this until it was uh, clear, but we're mixing the colors anyway, so it really isn't necessary. I want to go into the Bermuda Bay because I want these colors to mix. And also when you do this, it's going to be a lot lighter when you're done. So you may think, oh my gosh, it's too dark, but it really isn't. Now I might have a little too much water on my paper, but I think it's still going to be pretty. All right, I'm going to clean this off and just get some more Bermuda Bay. And then I think I want these to mix in just a little bit more. And don't judge, okay, that does look a little bit too wet, so I'm going to just dab it a little there. And add some more of this. I think I'm about done. And that's it. You let it dry and when you're done, again, you'll have something very pretty like this to use as a background. Alright, well I hope you'll give this a try and thanks so much for joining me.